Chohan, 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 or Chohan, is a Rajput caste from northern and western India. <laughs> Myths of origin The word Chohan is the vernacular form of the Sanskrit term Shahamana. Several Chohan inscriptions name a legendary hero called Shahamana as their ancestor, but none of them state the period in which he lived. The earliest extant inscription that describes the origin of the Chohans is the 1119 CE Savadi inscription of Ratnapala, a ruler of the Nadala Shahamana dynasty. According to this inscription, the ancestor of the Chahamanas was born from the eye of Indra. The 1170 CE Bijolia rock inscription of the Shakambari Shahamana king Someshvara states that his ancestor Samantaraja was born at Ahichatrapura possibly modern Nagore in the Gotra of Sage Vatsa. The 1262 CE Sunda Hill inscription of the jailer Shahamana king Chachi Gadeva states that the dynasty's ancestor Shahamana was a source of joy to the Vatsa. The 1320 Mount Abu a inscription of the Diora Chohan ruler Lumba states that Vatsa created the Chahamanas as a new lineage of warriors. After the Solar Dynasty and the Lunar Dynasty had ceased to exist, the Ajmer inscription of the Shakambari Shahamana ruler Vigraharaja IV c. 1150-64 CE claims that Shahamana belonged to the Solar Dynasty, descending from Ikshavaku and Rama. The 12th century Prithviraja Vijaya Mahakavya, composed by Prithviraja III's court poet Jayanaka, also claims a solar dynasty origin for the ruling dynasty. According to this text, Shahamana came to earth from Archimandal, the orbit of the sun. The 15th century Hamira Mahakavya of Nayachandra Suri, which describes the life of the Ranthambore branch ruler Hamira, gives the following account, once Brahma was wandering in search of an auspicious place to conduct a ritual sacrifice. He ultimately chose the place where a lotus from his hand fell, this place came to be known as Pushkara. Brahma wanted to protect his sacrificial ceremony against interference from Danavas miscreant beings. Therefore, he remembered the sun, and a hero came into being from the sun's orb. This hero was Chohan, the ancestor of the Hamira's dynasty. The earliest extant recension of Prithviraj Raso of Chand Bardai, dated to 15th or 16th century, states that the first Chohan king, Manakya Rai, was born from Brahma's sacrifice. The 16th century Sarjana Karita, composed by the Bengali poet Chandra Shikara under patronage of the Ranthambore ruler Rao Sarjana, contains a similar account. It states that Brahma created the first Shahamana from the sun's disk during a sacrificial ceremony at Pushkara. Despite these earlier myths, it was the Agnavanshi or Agnakula myth that became most popular among the Chohans and other Rajput clans. According to this myth, some of the Rajput clans originated from Agni, in a sacrificial fire pit. This legend was probably invented by the 10th century Paramara court poet Padmagupta, whose Nava Sahasanka Karita mentions only the Paramaras as fire born. The inclusion of Chohans in the Agnavanshi myth can be traced back to the later recensions of Prithviraj Raso. In this version of the legend, once Vashistha and other great sages begin a major sacrificial ceremony on Mount Abu. The ritual was interrupted by miscreant Daityas demons. To get rid of these demons, Vashistha created progenitors of three Rajput dynasties from the sacrificial fire pit. These were Parahar Pratiharas, Chalak Chalakya or Salanki, and Parmar Paramara. These heroes were unable to defeat the demons. So, the sages prayed again, and this time a fourth warrior appeared, Chahuvana Chohan. This fourth hero slayed the demons. The earliest available copies of Prithviraj Raso do not mention the Agnavanshi legend. It is possible that the 16th century bards came up with the legend to foster Rajput unity against the Mughal emperor Akbar. Adaptions of the Prithviraj Raso occur in several later works. The Hamira Raso by Jadaraja, a court poet of Prince Chandrabana of Nimrana, states that once the Kshatriyas warriors became extinct. So, the great sages assembled at Mount Abu and created three heroes. When these three heroes could not defeat the demons, they created Chauvanaji. A slight variation occurs in the writings of Surya Mala Mishrana, the court poet of Bundi. In this version, the various gods create the four heroes on Vashistha's request. According to the bardic tale of the Kichi clan of Chohans, the Parwar Paramara was born from Shiva's essence, the Salanki, Salanki or Chalak Rao Shalukya was born from Brahma's essence, the Pariyar Parahar was born from Devi's essence, and the Chauvan Chohan was born from Agni, the fire. Topic. 
Topic: Ethnographic status. Denzel Ibbotson, an administrator of the British Raj, classified the Chohans as a tribe rather than as a caste. He believed, like John Nesfield, that the society of the northwest frontier provinces and Punjab in British India did not permit the rigid imposition of an administratively defined caste construct as his colleague, H. H. Risley preferred. According to Ibbotson, society in Punjab was less governed by Brahmanical ideas of caste, based on Varna, and instead was more open and fluid. Tribes, which he considered to be kin-based groups that dominated small areas, were the dominant feature of rural life. Caste designators, such as Jat and Rajput, were status-based titles to which any tribe that rose to social prominence could lay a claim, and which could be dismissed by their peers if they declined. Susan Bailey, a modern anthropologist, considers him to have had a high degree of accuracy in his observations of Punjab society. I and his writings we really do see the beginnings of modern, regionally based Indian anthropology. History The Chohans were historically a powerful group in the region now known as Rajasthan. For around 400 years from the 7th century CE their strength in Sambar was a threat to the power base of the Gahilats in the southwest of the area, as also was the strength of their fellow Agnavanshi clans. They suffered a set back in 1192 when their leader, Prithviraj Chohan, was defeated at the Battle of Terrain but this did not signify their demise. The kingdom broke into the Satyapura and Devda branches after the invasion of Qutbu el Din Abak in 1197. The earliest Chohan inscription is a copper plate inscription found at Hansat. <laughs> <laughs> Dynasties The ruling dynasties belonging to the Chohan clan included Chahamanas of Shakambari, Chohans of Ajmer. Chahamanas of Natala, Chohans of Nadal, Chahamanas of Lata, Chahamanas of Dolpur, Chahamanas of Partabgar, Chahamanas of Jailer, Chohans of Jalor, branched off from the Chahamanas of Natala, Chahamanas of Ranastambapura, Chohans of Ranthambore, branched off from the Chahamanas of Shakambarith. Princely states ruled by families claiming Chohan descent include Bundi state, Changbakar state. Korea State, Kota State, Sirohi State, Sunpur State, Ambliara State. Topic: Notable people. Prithviraj 1178 to 1192 AD fought the Chandelas, Chalukyas of Gujarat, and the Gahadavalas, besides Muhammad Ghori in the battles of terrain. Gugga, a warrior, minor king and Naga demigod Hammer Dev Chohan, ruler of Topic: See also Dami